you live in a dangerous age. You live in an age where one woman can level an accusation of sexual impropriety against you and it can destroy your life. What do I mean? Any woman can level an accusation of sexual impropriety, rape, sexual assault, and this allegation, unsupported by any evidence, just her word, can be enough to rob you of your freedom, of your possessions, of your opportunities, your employment, your friends, everything. Everything in your life can be destroyed by one woman and one allegation. It's not particularly difficult and it happens all the time. In point of fact, it happened to me. <laughs> it happened to me and I did a video about it. I did a video about it, you can find it right here. In college, in 1991, freshman fall, not even freshman fall properly, it was really freshman orientation. A woman I'd hooked up with who had wanted to have sex with me and I declined because I thought that she was a little bit nuts. Well, she got pissed off when she found out that I was seeing other people and she accused me of sexual assault and sexual harassment. She claimed that I had gone to her dorm room and sexually assaulted her, which was a lie. She said that I tried to forcibly kiss her. That was the precise allegation. She also said that I had sexually harassed her by sending obscene email messages to her. I hadn't sent her any obscene email messages. It was a lie. The computing department proved that she was lying. Proved it. Proved that she was a liar. And yet in the uh, he said, she said situation of this uh, alleged uh, sexual assault, her word counted more than mine. She was believed and I was suspended for a full academic year. And uh, because of it, I was ostracized. I had a miserable time in college and I talk about it in the video. I'm not gonna talk about it here. That's not the point. The point I'm trying to say is that see, this situation has been going on for 20 odd, closing in on 30 years. And it's not gonna change anytime soon. To think that it's gonna change is stupid. To moan about it and, and groan about it, you know, it serves no purpose. You just have to roll with it and you have to understand what's going on. We are going through a historical period that is unprecedented, whereby a woman's feelings will trump anything except the hardest proof. The hardest and most self-evident proof. I mean, I'm talking video, okay? That's the only way that an allegation against you can be disproven. Some sort of incontrovertible objective evidence because if it comes to an issue of her word against yours you're fucked you're fucked you are going to lose don't think otherwise don't pretend otherwise don't cross your fingers and hope for the best it's not gonna happen you're gonna get fucked so what do you do about it see some men decide that they're not gonna play the game they decide that they're not going to be with women because they figure that the costs are too high. And they, they say that all women are like this and decide that they're not going to have anything to do with women and become MGTOW or whatever, right? Now, my thinking is that that's sort of foolish because first of all, not all women do such a thing. Most women are decent people who would never lie about something so serious. They would never say such a damaging lie such as, you know, you raped me or something like that when it's obviously not true. Most women, I'm talking nine women out of ten. But the problem is that it's that tenth woman. And their lies will be believed and your truth will not be believed. Unless. Unless. Unless you have insurance. Now, what do I mean by insurance? Well, First of all, we have to understand what insurance is. Insurance is a way to ensure that uh, some negative event will not happen to you or that the effects of the negative event will be ameliorated, right? That's what insurance means. Now, when you buy a car and you go out and drive that car around the city and get on the highway and such, do you drive that car without insurance? Of course not. It could be that you have a spotless record. You have driven, you know, two, three hundred thousand miles, and you have never had so much as a scratch on your car or anybody else's car. But still, you would never think in your right mind to drive that car without insurance. Because it could be that you are, you know, aces as a driver, but you know, some other asshole crashes into you, right? So you want to have insurance. Right? Right. 
If you decide that you want the company of women, and you decide that you're not going to go MGTOW, that you are going to interact with women, then you have to have insurance. And I've thought about this problem long and hard, and I've come to a solution to it. A solution to this problem, and it's rather distasteful, because I suppose I find it distasteful because I always think that we should think the best of one another as a people, as a society. But the reality is that there are women who have no trouble whatsoever lying, lying through their teeth and claiming that a man has abused them sexually, raped them or, or beat them or what have you. There are such women. And the examples are too obvious and too, uh, too common to be discounted. As I said, it happened to me. Okay, So I know wherever I speak. And I know too that in our current society, there is a whole industry, a whole bureaucracy that is dedicated to finding you guilty in universities, in the uh, district attorney's office, in the HR departments of every corporation. There are people whose job it is to find men like you guilty of some sexual impropriety, of rape or assault or whatever, whatever it is. Their paycheck depends on finding men guilty. So of course they're gonna find men guilty. Of course they're gonna ignore any but the most obvious and blatant evidence. Of course these bureaucrats will believe a woman over a man. For various reasons, for companies, it'll be cheaper to fire the employee than potentially have a lawsuit from the alleged victim against the company. So it'll be cheaper to fire the employee, you. It'll be cheaper to uh, kick the student out, you. It'll be cheaper to put the guy in jail, you. You see what I'm saying? Everybody has it out for a guy unless, unless there is incontrovertible evidence, unless you have insurance. And my brother, my son, unfortunately, you have to do something that I find very distasteful, but it is the only solution. And it is this, this, this is your insurance. It is a audio recorder. It costs $100 on Amazon. You need a little chip that costs 10 bucks for four gigabytes. And it needs a AA battery. With a AA battery, which costs pennies, it'll record for 12 continuous hours. You get a bigger chip and it'll record even longer, okay? Whenever you have an interaction with a woman, carry it in your pocket, recording. No matter how trivial, no matter how innocuous or innocent you might think that that interaction is, you carry it in your pocket and you have it on record. And every time you get home, you back up the recording onto your computer and you file it away. You be neat about it, be organized about it, and you keep a recording. And it's distasteful, but it is necessary in the age we're living in. Because the fact of the matter is, see, it could well be that you have a fight with your girlfriend, your girlfriend, and you've been dating her for six months and you have a fight with her. And maybe you have a fight because you're realizing that there are some things about her that you don't particularly care for and you're starting to realize that maybe she's not the person that you thought she was. And so you have a fight and you hop in your car and you drive off and you know, go to movies to you know, sort of like blow off steam and sort of like forget about the argument and then hop back in your car after the movie and go home and you get home and there are two cops waiting for you and they arrest you for assault, rape, God knows what. The girlfriend that you thought was a little bit nuts, the girlfriend that you thought was, huh? God knows what she might accuse you of. It's a reality. And you say to me, but you know, not all women are like that. And I agree. Not all women are like that. 99 women out of 100 might not lie. But there's that one woman who will. Now, the question then becomes, you know, do you want to risk it? You know, imagine I said to you the following, that, that there's a chance, you know, a uh, uh, one in a hundred chance that you hop in your car today and you're going to crash and you're going to total your car. Would you say to me then that you're not going to get uh, car insurance? Of course not. 
Of course not. You say to me that, uh, you know, there's a one in a hundred chance that I'm gonna crash today, fucking A, I'm gonna get that insurance. Of course, exactly. That's what I mean. Distasteful as it may be, you gotta, you know, adapt to the situation. See? Darwin. It's Darwin, Darwinian here. This is survival of the fittest. The fittest in this case being the people who are prepared. The people who have insurance. And it's fucking A distasteful. Because, you know, think of how creepy it is to be fucking recording every goddamn interaction you have with a woman. But that's the reality. And it's an ugly reality, but you have to face it. And you have to be prepared for it. Now, in some countries, in some states, you know, it's illegal to record a conversation without the other person knowing it. Let me ask you, do you prefer the misdemeanor of having unlawfully recorded a conversation or the felony of rape? W which, which of the two do you prefer? Because me personally, I don't have a problem, you know, being charged with a misdemeanor of recording somebody without their authorization. I'll, I'll be fine with that. I'm not gonna like it. I'll pay the fine or whatever. But you know, between that, and, and being accused of rape and potentially serving time for rape. Uh, what the hell? What the fuck? Think. Think. This is the reality we are living in. And it bothers me tremendously because the people in responsibility, the people in leadership positions, they should be facing the reality that men and women are the same. Men lie and women lie. And women will lie vindictively, as they have since the dawn of the species, to fuck over some guy because the guy pissed them off. Women are great at it. Women are especially good at manipulation because they're smaller than men. They are naturally smaller than men, and so probably some evolutionary psychologist can tell you how women have evolved strategies to fuck over guys. And lying and manipulating authorities is one of them. And so the reality is that you have to have insurance. In today's day and age, it would be foolish for you not to. Because in today's day and age, and let's face facts, one accusation, one accusation is enough to ruin your reputation for the rest of your life. One accusation, no matter how ridiculous, no matter how absurd and impossible, one accusation can be enough to curtail your opportunities insofar as school is concerned, insofar as employment, wrecking your reputation with your friends, your business associates. Everything that you have worked for your entire life can be thrown out the window with just a single accusation. Think about it. <laughs> Think about it. I mean, are you willing to run that risk? I mean, I look at this little device and I find it really just distasteful. It's a Zoom H1. You look it up on Amazon, it's a hundred bucks, like I said. There are plenty more just like it. I find it unbelievably distasteful that our society has gotten to a point of such low trust and such uh, 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 an unwillingness to look at reality and think commonsensically that any allegation made by a woman will be automatically believed, but that is the reality we live with. In 1991, had I had this insurance policy, a little recorder in my pocket, quietly, silently recording away, I would have been able to show that I turned down this girl's offer of sex. I would have been able to show to the disciplinary committee that I had not assaulted her, that she was pissed off because I didn't want to sleep with her because I didn't like her that much. I would have been able to prove it. I would not have been suspended. I would not have been ostracized. My college experience would not have been ruined before it had even properly begun. See? If only I'd had insurance. Don't be foolish. Take my word for it. Be smart. Be smart. Think of the things that you are risking. Now, if you think that the risk is too high and that you, you don't want to deal with women and in fact you decide that you just, you know, go your own way, you know, men going their own way, that shit, I think that that's a mistake, okay? Because I think that relationships with women are among the most wonderful thing that a man can experience. 
not just uh, for the sake of having a relationship with a woman, but for the sake of having children, having children in common. It is a wonderful, magical experience. And, and men cannot have children on their own. And they shouldn't, frankly. Because men and women should be together in a family, the women taking care of the children, the man going out there and making the money to support the family. That is the way things should be. And just because there is you know, one woman in 20 who's a crazy nut job who will lie, does not mean that you should automatically throw away one of the most valuable experiences that you will have in your life. That's not a good enough reason. And that's my belief. MGTOW, they decide that they're going to live their own, uh, go their own way and live without women. Fine. That's their decision. My decision and my advice is you find a decent woman, a woman who won't lie, of course. You know, I've talked about how there are damaged women in the world. There are damaged women and there are crazy women and they will lie. That's why you have to avoid them. Okay. But just because there is such a danger does not mean that you should not have relations with women. Let me put it to you this way. There's a chance that you're going to get in your car and crash. There is a chance, however slim, that you will hop on the airplane and that airplane will crash. Does that mean that you should never get in a car? Does that mean that you should never go on a plane? Of course not. Of course not. And you see, it's the same thing. There's a chance of danger, but it's a small chance. And it's a manageable chance. Manage that risk, reduce it, minimize it, get insurance. Don't, I mean, how could I put this? I'm scaring you with this video. I know I am. I'm doing it on purpose because I want you to be with your fucking eyes fucking open, right? And not be a fucking idiot. Like, no, I don't want you to be like that. I want you to be with your eyes fucking open and knowing potential risks, right? But just because there are risks does not mean that you should not take them. Just because there are risks, just because there could potentially be bad outcomes does not mean that you should close yourself out to the wonderful outcomes that you might experience. Okay? Okay.